Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here we have the Asset Passport Sale, which is full of super useful tools and gorgeous assets for building awesome worlds. This is a quick one, it's only live for one week, so if you're interested in something, go ahead and pick it up quickly. I've already picked up two assets myself, so hopefully you will also find something you're interested in. They are all at a really nice 50% discount. And by the way, I've been working on a series doing asset reviews where I go through an asset to see how it works and how to use it. It's an interesting new format, the first video should be out next week, so make sure you hit the bell icon so you don't miss those. Alright, so let's see some highlights. First of all, one of the assets that I picked up myself, Curved Worlds. I've been interested in this one since it came out a couple of months ago. Like the name implies, you create curved worlds like for example what you see in Animal Crossing. The important thing is the effect only lives inside the camera, so you build your game like normal without having to place your transforms in any weird positions. You just put everything as normal and the effect makes it look curved. You can curve the world down like a globe, or curve it left or right or twist it to make some really interesting effects. There's even a demo in case you want to see it in action. Then if you're looking to build a realistic world with tons of vegetation, you have Vegetation Studio Pro easily create some gorgeous looking procedural biomes, make forests, deserts, lava, plains and snow mountains, use the intuitive editor to position the areas exactly as you want them. It automatically places the various biomes with tons of objects, lots of rocks, tree bushes and so on. Uses the new job system and the burst compiler to make it super performant. Or if all you want is just some grass then check out Grassflow. It's a highly interactive, extremely performant grass simulation shader that simulates every single blade of grass. It's optimized for rendering millions of objects, so if all you want is just grass, then this is what you need. If you want something a bit more urban, here is the Japanese Street Asset Pack. It's set up in a nice modular way to let you easily customize the scene to make it look exactly as you want it. Features over 350 prefabs, so you've got everything you need to make your own cozy Japanese streets. Or maybe you're looking for something a bit darker, so here is the Apocalyptic City Pack. This combines multiple packs into one massive city building pack. Features a total of over 850 unique assets, includes a nice demo level so you can easily pick up and play. There's also some awesome Sinti assets on sale, here is the Polygon Adventure Pack, it features their signature low poly style with tons of assets for making any sort of medieval game. And for me, since I've been picking up lots of low poly assets, the other asset that I bought was the low poly terrain. I've been using 3D assets in my videos more and more, so the one thing that I was still missing was some terrain. It's got all the features you would expect, easily sculpt, texture, decorate or render your terrain, also works with burst, the job system and it's super performant. Features lots of shading styles so you can get it to look exactly as you want it. This one also has an integration with the previously mentioned Vegetation Studio Pro so I might get that one as well to see how they work together. Next up, if you want to make a city instead of an outdoor environment then check out the Seascape City System. Just hit a single button and you already have a very good starting point. The buildings are procedurally generated so you can easily change them in any way. Includes fake parallax interiors so the buildings look complex while using very few draw calls. Supports both day and night cycles. If you're working on some sort of strategy game then check out the terrain grid system. You can easily generate terrains with multiple areas. Features all kinds of shapes, you've got basic rectangular cells or maybe some hexagons, some Voronoi or some weird shapes. For example, you can imagine a forex game where each area has a city or environment and you must control the entire map. Or if you prefer a smaller scale, here is a gorgeous looking sci-fi city named Metropia. It's got lots of vegetation and some gorgeous colors, looks very inviting, includes a demo scene with tons of objects and post-processing. Or maybe you want the biggest scale of all, so here is the space graphics toolkit. I can see this being perfect for some sort of space strategy game. This one has received constant updates for over 7 years, so it's a very robust package. Easily adds some proper Newtonian physics with accurate realistic gravity allowing the player to orbit and land on any planet. It features tons of celestial objects. It's got planets, asteroids, procedural star fields, debris, black holes, rings, auroras and so on. If you're looking for just a massive mega pack then here is the medieval village kit bundle. All gorgeous, very realistic assets. This includes multiple packs in a single bundle. In total, over 8000 prefabs, everything from interiors to exteriors, you've got basic huts, royal quarters and everything in between. If you're working on a realistic medieval game then this will be a huge help. Alright, so those are just some of the highlights, there's over 100 assets on sale, everything at 50% off. This is a quick sale, only lasts about a week, so if you're interested in anything go ahead and pick it up quickly. The links in the description are affiliate links, so if you pick up anything through there you'll also be helping out the channel. 
Alright, so thanks for watching, I hope you found some interesting assets, and I'll see you next time.